to, is there breath on your shit? Hey everyone, <laughs> it's been a few days since I vlogged and I am in such a better place mentally and emotionally today than I have been for weeks. Wesley had a surgery, he's home, we are home and it went well. So I'm just feeling so much more relieved and good and so glad to be home. So uh, yeah, it went well. And I did film like one little clip while I was at the hospital and I will show that to you in a minute. But for right now, I'm gonna go downstairs and feed the babies. Then I'm hoping to do like some Valentine's Day prep with Flynn today. I love holidays and life has been very hectic, obviously since I was pregnant and then the NICU and then this stuff with Wes. And so now that that's all done, I feel like the dust can settle a little bit and I can get back to like things that make me really happy and excited, like holidays and family time and stuff like that. So Valentine's Day is in a few days. And so I'm going to hopefully make Valentine's with Flynn and make little Valentine's Day boxes and stuff like that. And also I planned a little trip with Eric for Valentine's Day. Obviously we're taking all the kids <laughs> and it's not like a trip trip. We don't like, we haven't vacationed or like gone anywhere other than places that we can drive to that are really close to our house for two years. So we're just driving up the coast to my hometown of Santa Barbara and we have a little Airbnb there. We're just gonna spend some time with family for a couple days for Valentine's Day. And I'm really excited. So that's something to look forward to. And um, my period is raging right now. So I think I need to go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna go, but I wanted to show you guys a little clip from the hospital, just a little bit of how I was doing while I was there. And so you'll watch that and then we'll get back to today. Okay, hello everyone. I'm at the hospital. If I look tired, it's because I am very tired. I just wanted to let you guys know that everything went well. Wesley is right there in that crib. Ta-da! It was a very stressful, long, hard day, and I'm so glad the surgery's over and everything went well. If Wesley wants to tell you about his surgery someday, he can do that, but I'm just gonna tell you about it from my perspective and my personal experience. This was a hard day. <laughs> really hard to watch your kid be wheeled away for a surgery. Whew. I knew that would suck, but it was really awful. But he's okay, and I'm so glad. And so we're staying the night here, just me and little Mr. Wes as he recovers. Yeah, it's been hard. Um, everyone at this hospital is really sweet. I've never been to this hospital before, but they've all been really nice, and I'm pumping every three hours, and they're storing my milk for me for Maisie, because half my milk goes to Maisie and half goes to Wes. So I pump, I feed Wes a little bit, and the rest goes, and they're storing it all for me here until I go home. Um, I'm just really happy that's over and everything is okay. Also, I wanted to just say, you know, I've kind of talked about my whole experience like with pregnancy and the NICU experience and just being a mom and all that stuff on here. And I just wanted to say to anyone out there who has had a NICU baby and then had to watch their baby go through surgery, I love you. <laughs> You're very strong. This is hard. It's really like bizarre and like, I guess triggering is the only word that makes sense to have gone through like something as hard and as traumatic as the NICU experience was for me. That was a really, really hard, difficult, emotional, painful time as you guys saw, because I vlogged a lot of it. And since Eric and I were talking about it last night, since I got home from the NICU, since the NICU experience ended, we don't talk about it. Like we don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about the NICU experience. It was too hard and too painful fall we just don't even bring it up and so to come back to a hospital and see him hooked up to cords and machines again it's like triggering and they were putting an IV on him and I said oh I remember celebrating the day they took that out and to watch them put it back in it's really hard I wasn't sure if I would vlog anything while I was here but it really helped me to talk about it and vlog about stuff when I was at the NICU and it helped hearing other people's experiences and you guys said it helped you to hear someone else going through things, these things too so it was like well it was a really hard um, triggering day so if any other mom or dad has experienced this oof, it's tough I wasn't expecting this experience to, like trigger all the emotions and feelings I had during my NICU time yeah I'm just really grateful happy he's okay now he's in pain but they're managing his pain well well, so yeah, he's doing really well right now. He's sleeping, which is awesome. Hopefully we'll go home tomorrow and we'll manage his pain at home and I get to see, I miss Maisie and Flynn so much. But yeah, 
that's that. Everything's okay. He's okay. I'm okay. Everyone's okay. This was a very horrible experience, <laughs> but I'm very grateful that we got to do it and that he's okay now. He had to fast before the surgery and so he was really hungry so he was really upset by the time they took him away and he was crying and they put up the side of the crib so I couldn't hold him anymore I couldn't touch him and he was just screaming and I'm trying to put my hands through the crib bars to like comfort him and I couldn't fit my arms through and then they were like we have to take him and they wheeled him away and I just watched him be taken down the hall of a hospital on his way to a surgery and he was screaming oh it was awful and then I went back in the room that we were waiting in and I just sobbed and pumped alone in that room. So grateful for doctors and for science and for medicine and for people who dedicate their lives to helping babies. I'm so grateful for you people. Oh man, I'm so grateful that this surgery is over because that was causing a lot of stress and anxiety and pain. So all done and uh, I'm starving because hospital food is really gross. <laughs> yeah. That's that. So um, I'll probably just see you guys back at home. All right, goodbye. I'm going to attempt to do Valentine's with Flynn. This is a very, very ambitious endeavor. Flynn's not a huge craft fan and nothing really keeps his attention longer than 60 seconds. So to make Valentine's for the family, not so sure how well this is gonna go, but we're gonna try. Hey Flynn, you wanna make Valentine's with me? Yeah, but I can't get up there while you're sitting on that. Oh, true, do you want me to sit here or here? After I get over there, you can sit back okay. on there. Okay, good idea. Thank you for moving. You're welcome. I got right. a garbage can. That's your garbage can? Yeah, I got it right there, but now I'm gonna put back there. See, I keep picking it up. You sure do. I have a question to you. What? What is it? So do you know? Oh, wash, <laughs> wash, wash this, wash this. That's kind of like a magnet. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Do you know what a Valentine is? Wash. <laughs> that's why the um a magnet too. So now yeah. I can open it mm -hmm. and shut it. So now I can pick it up and then put that in. So now I can put trash in it. So now there's trash in it. So now I can dump it. That's great. Is that right? I have to help you glue. You wanna help me glue? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make Valentines. Yeah. So you think of people you love and then we make them Valentines. So who do you love? I think grandma. Okay, so first you pick out a paper. Which paper do you want for grandma? This, this one. That one? Okay. Yeah. So now we can glue. Oh, actually no. Oh. Actually, I think purple. Yeah, is that her favorite color? Yeah, purple is her favorite color. Okay. I put trash in my dumpster, right. so now I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> dump it in my hopper. Great. Whoa, well, you saw the wood open up? That's crazy. Okay. Well, wash, <laughs> hear the sounds. Wash, hear the sounds. Oh, wash, 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 hear the sounds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that kind of Oh, That's so silly. Okay, so now we can glue stuff to the paper or we can this, draw on it. This is not it. This one's, I'm gonna do this one, you're gonna do this one. Huh? We're both gonna do one. Oh, I think this is daddy's. You want that to be for daddy? Yeah, I okay. want this to be for daddy. And how about the twins after daddy? Uh, the twins after daddy? That's a great yeah. idea. So on um, grandma's, you can put stickers on it. Oh yeah, I can put stickers on it. Okay. In my garbage can. Oh, perfect. That's where I keep the trash. Good idea. That's a great sticker. Don't forget to put one on for daddy, too, over here. Daddy, you want to make Valentine's with us? Daddy, daddy, this is not for you yet. Oh, not yet. Oh, not yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to make it first. You're going to make me a Valentine's? No, no, no. I'm making grandma Valentine's. Okay, and then me? Yeah, and then you. I like, just so you know, I like This stickers. is a book, and I'm going to do it. I was doing it while I was yawning. Yeah, you can Lovey. make one. Don't look lovely, I'm making a Valentine. Can I make one for mommy fun? Yeah. Yeah, you can. I'm doing stickers. I want truck stickers. I have more truck stickers. <gasps> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for uh, my lot of stickers. You're welcome. These are my lot of stickers. Yeah, you got a lot. Thank you for my lot of stickers. You're welcome. We're on the slow. And this is a pork quest. Look at that picture. You got forklift thumb. Oh, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you think it was food for a second? Yeah. Was that an accident? Yeah. <laughs> but you have to help me do it. Oh, yeah, baby. 
Valentine. Yes, Camilla, to be now. That's your Valentine for me. That's your Valentine. See your Valentine, that's yours. Heck yes. <gasps> yes. I have a Valentine, guys. Score. Is that your Valentine? It's for Daddy. All right, we're gonna keep making Valentine. See you guys later. Flynn finished Grandma's Valentine, and he wants to give it to her now. So what are we writing on her Valentine? Grandma. Do you want it to be a book or just open like this? No, just like that. Okay. And you want me to write Grandma? Yeah, right. Grandma. Where do you want me to write it? I think right there. Okay. How do you do that? Isn't that kind of silly? Yeah. Grandma, do you want me to write anything else? Like, I love you. No, or no. Or will you play with me? That, I think that's enough. Just grandma? Really? How about you want to play with me? Yeah. Okay. You want, yeah. You want me to write that? Yeah. You want to play with me? It says, Grandma, you want to play with me? Yeah. I need to give it to her. Okay. You can go give it to her. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for giving it. I think I enjoyed it. Just close these. Okay. Guys, this is your Valentine's. Oh boy. I made this for you. Whoa. That's yours. I love it. Thank you. That's yours. It says, Grandma, you want to play with me? Yes, I do. Let's play. Yeah. Okay. We're having a picnic. Hi, Smiley. <laughs> Maybe let's start. Hi, Smiley. Let's start. Song makes her feel better. You got a song for her? I I just um um got the song for her. So it's gonna make her feel better? Yeah. Can I hear it? Oh yeah. Okay. Good 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 gookie. Good gookie gookie goo. Good gookie gookie gookie. Good gookie gookie goo. Good gookie gookie gookie. I think Maisie's more like me and Wesley's more like you. Wesley loves being outside. He was crying inside and we brought him outside and he immediately stops looking around so happy. And Maisie's just so fussy. <laughs> She's like, get me out of this gross nature. You don't like being outside? You tired? Yeah, you need a nap? I, I kind of drink water. I think she might need a nap. Me too. Yesterday, Flynn caught a lizard, huh? We're just eating Lucky Charms. Do you want to tell them about the lizard? My name is Zoom Zoom. Zoom Zoom. How big was it? I guess one. It was very big. Like this. Mm hmm And where'd you find it? In the pool and the, was in water. It was in a bucket in water when they rescued it, huh? You and Daddy rescued it and Flynn named it Zoom Zoom. And then what'd you do with it? Play at the park. You let it go, huh? Mm -hmm. Just eating some Lucky Charms. <laughs> So Eric just gave me another Valentine's Day present <laughs> and he said, oh, okay, so a while ago we had an argument on our podcast about bathrooms and what you can put in a bathroom and I think bath mats in a bathroom are nice and he thinks there should be nothing on the floor in a bathroom, especially a guest bathroom. He thinks it's gross and I like the cozy feeling of like a mat under your toes when you're by the sink. He thinks it's gross. So he asked if he could redo the bathroom, the guest bathroom, and he said it's my Valentine's Day gift. And he's like, since you love a cozy bathroom, come take a look. And this is what he's, first he put me in this row, which is actually really, really comfortable. And I was like, oh my God, so sweet. Eric is usually pretty good at like redesigning, decorating rooms and stuff. So I was expecting it to be like funky and fun and cool and like whatever. What are you doing? All right, you wanna see the beautiful work my husband did? Oh, oh my gosh. This is what he did. You wanna go up here? Yeah. Okay. Wesley is teething. <laughs> what? So he was crying today and I was like, this cry sounds different. It sounds different than the cry he had when he was upset from his like incisions and this is sounding different than his cry from gas. Like this is just like, a, he's really upset and couldn't figure out what it was. And he like opened his mouth really wide to like cry and I saw two white lines in his gums. And I thought, hmm. That looks like teeth, but he's only three months old and he's a preemie, so like he's five weeks adjusted or six weeks adjusted, something like that. And he's tiny, so there's like no way he's teething. There's no way. And so then I like try to get a picture of it and I zoomed in and it is, it is his teeth. He is teething. And it makes sense because he's been drooling and he's been breastfeeding weird this week and he's been refusing binkies the last two days. Like they bug him and he's been obviously super, super fussy, but I just thought it was because of his surgery, obviously. So I didn't think that he was teething. 
<laughs> and then tonight he was just screaming and screaming and screaming for a couple hours. And I was like, this is, I remember this. This is how it was with Flynn when Flynn was teething. And so Wesley's teething. He's only three months old and Flynn teethed really early too. So I'm not like too surprised, but I just thought I'd get a little bit more time of him being like a tiny baby without having to start the teething process because the teething process is brutal. I'm gonna have to go through it twice. <laughs> <laughs> twins. But Maisie's not teething at all. Like I checked her mouth and there was nothing in there. Um, and she was in good spirits today. So poor little Wesley is teething. And I know it hurts like having sharp, jagged like teeth jam through your gums. Like just, I'm certain does not feel good. So I feel really sad for him, but also really sad for me. <laughs> because teething is not fun to go through. So that's fun. I'm going to end this vlog because I'm gonna go be with him because he's sad. So I'm gonna go do that. But I love you guys, thanks for watching. And um, maybe I'll see you tomorrow, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on in my life anymore, okay? I don't know, I love you. You can relax, Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home, but now we have big microphones. So you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.